Yo, guys, so I don't know. Like, I'm sitting here in my office right now, and I was going to film another video about something else, man. But I, I, I was like, you know what? Nah, I, I got a better, I had something like better, like deep down that has been on my mind for a minute now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm making a thumbnail for my video dropping the day. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to put this out here because maybe someone needs to, maybe someone needs to hear this. Maybe, you know, oh shit, my bad. Hold on. Maybe, maybe someone needs to hear this. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, I just feel like this needs to be said. And it's very simple. Like, you don't have to be tough in life. Like, to a certain extent. You don't got to be tough, especially, like, at least on the internet. Let's say that. Even in life in some ways, like, you can take the L's. Now, I'm not telling you to let, like, I'm not telling you to let someone come and spit in your fucking face and slap the shit out of you and punch you and then you just like back down but if someone says something that you don't like in face or in the internet you don't have to go back and forth to the extreme you know what i'm saying because nowadays man i'm seeing like more and more people getting into shootings altercations for no reason and they can be easily avoided by just letting shit go you know and People may, some people, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't feel like a lot of people, but I do feel like, you know, there might be people out here that that see me back down or see me not go at it with someone as much or try to fight with someone. And it's, it, and it's not because of fear, but it's because of what I, you know, what I have. And I know a lot of you guys have just as much as me. When you have a family, when you have a great life, a great wife, a great kids, or whatever that you have, you don't want to risk any of that. There should never be a time where you want to risk any of that and when you're going against someone that doesn't have that and they know you got that you think that they're gonna like what what, what do you think they want to do they want to take that from you if you got something and they ain't got it they want to take that from you so by you playing into their game you're by you acting out and and, and bucking or whatever it is you're playing into that game that game of letting it you know being risking giving it all up I'm not saying every interaction in the world is going to cause you to die or get killed or anything, or but it, you never know. You know what I'm saying? That's why at the end of the day, like when someone tries me or someone is like coming at me or some sort of way, I'm, I, I easily will back down from that situation because at the end of the day, one, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? What I say out there, what I put, the energy I put out in the world, it's reciprocated by people so easily. You know what I'm saying? If I say F this person, F that person, there's more than likely a chance that I might run into that person at some time. So am I going to have that same energy? Like, I want to make sure any, any, any type of energy I put out there in the world, when I deal with that energy or that energy is now facing me, that I'm able to keep that same energy. I don't want to say, fuck this person, fuck that person. I'm going to slap this person. I'm going to beat this person. And then when I see them, you know, I'm ignoring them or I, I like, I act like they're, as if they're not there. That's just not the energy that I want to have. I want to keep it as genuine as possible. So if I don't feel that way, if I don't feel like I'm going to have that same energy towards that person in, when I see them, I'm not even going to act out and act that type of way. I just feel like at the end of the day, I look at my life and people have tried to push me over the edge and push me to get out of character. And it's like, and this, and this is the same for you. Like you got to literally look at what you got and realize that that's something that you're willing to risk. You beat someone's ass. Say someone do something, you beat somebody's ass. Not like nowadays people ain't willing to take that ass whooping. They, they want to get back, get it, get it back in blood as they would say, you know? So I look at every situation with any any individual as is it really worth it? Is getting called a bitch and me saying, all right, bet, and just walking off, is that is that make me less of a man? Is that gonna make me feel less of a man? Am I gonna take an L in life? In my reality, nah, because I get to go back home. That person you get the set they get their satisfaction of calling me a bitch, a pussy or whatever. They get that satisfaction. They got it now, right? And now I'm back home living my life and doing as I would like to do where I could I said, nah, you're a bitch, fuck boy. And then either one, they could be like, oh, my bad, man. You know what I'm saying? And leave. Or they could be like, what's up, then, nigga? And that could turn a whole other direction. You know what I'm saying? Or they could even say, you got it, bro. And then catch me at another time. Like, what you say, boy? Not now that they got what they need to, you know, attack. Or I could just take the L and be like, you got it, bro. My bad. You know what I'm saying? Play a bitch role, whatever you want to call it. But guess what? I don't have to worry about that individual no more. Now they continue to push the boundaries and they see you again and they continue to push you because last time you was weak, they think they can keep picking on you. 
that's where you can. I, that's where I can understand you stepping up and standing your ground. I'm not telling you not to stand your ground, but I'm just telling you to think about the decisions you make on the internet in front of people. Is those the real decisions you want to make? Is your life? Are you willing to risk the things you got, the things you gain, the success you gain in life, just to prove a point? You know what I'm saying? It's just something I thought about. Something that's been on my mind. You know, something that we see in the internet world every day. Like nothing particular, nobody particular. I just feel like we are in a world now where we're trying to impress or look strong or look tough really in front of other men, not even in front of women half the time. But we just try to put this persona on. And at the end of the day, with that persona, it comes a lot of a lot of hate, a lot of risk, a little reward. You know what I'm saying? I like to remain quiet. You know, I might talk my shit here and there, speak my, speak my opinions still freely as ever. But, you know... When someone really wants to try my my try me try try my gangster, I'm not here to prove anything to 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 anybody at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like on that type of level. And at the end of the day, when someone treats me some sort of way, I know what I got at home. I know what I got in in my mind. You know what I'm saying? And it's not worth losing just to prove something to some individual. You feel me? So, um, I don't know, man. Maybe this is like a, this is a Sunday gym. Maybe someone got to hear it. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's just no, there's just no way where I feel the need to ever have to stop what I'm doing or, you know, um, you know, buck on someone. Now, if there's ever something physical, then that's where something we can take into another level. The words, words, words can never really hurt me, man. You know what I'm saying? And I think we all need that. I think we all start looking at it this way. You know what I'm saying? The things we say to people, the things we say to one another, you know, just sometimes let shit go, bro. You ain't got to always, you ain't always got to be a tough guy. You ain't always got to be the guy that's going to pull up and whoop somebody's ass or shoot somebody or kill somebody. At the end of the day, all you're doing is just trying to show out in front of a couple, you know, a couple in front of men or whatever. Um, Call me a bitch, call me a hoe, call me anything. At the end of the day, I get to still sleep at night in my wonderful house with my wonderful life and uh, friends, family, and all the above. And, and, and this is not, like I said, this is not just me. This is more than likely you. You have these things. I'm not like, yeah, I live good, but there's people out there that make way more money than me, that have way bigger lives than me. So you should even start understand it even more. And if you have less, you should still understand it. We all have something that's that matters. And I don't know, man, like, hopefully this hit something. This is not a big time video, but just letting it out. Sunday nugget, man. Sunday words of wisdom. Fuck it. Let's go.